There aren't many people who could put an Investigative Journalism Award, six Emmys, three hit PBS specials, the Olympics, Tour de France, and Entertainment Tonight on their resumes. And that's just scratching the surface. I mean, if you look at my bio, it, 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 it sort of looks like a, 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 an ADD type bio. Yeah, everything looks interesting to this guy. And it's, and, and it's true, but there is, a, there is a, a common thread, and that is I do love, I, I love to perform. And at six foot six, John Tesh certainly has stage presence. But this is just the latest chapter in a 25 year career that could best be described as eclectic. Tonight, he's playing from his new CD, A Passionate Life. And Tesh practices what he preaches. It's living the life you were made for. It's, 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 it's losing track of, of, of time and doing what, what it is that makes you come alive. And, and so many of us, I mean, I'll ask the question in, in, in a concert and I'll throw it out to 2,000 people and say, what is it that makes you come alive? What is the deepest desire of your heart? Nobody can answer it. It wasn't until recently that he could answer that question either, especially in the zenith of his fame as co-host of Entertainment Tonight. For many, many years, I was doing stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. I was, I was living a life that was all about how much money can I make, and I was making a lot of it, uh, reading the celebrity birthdays on television. Nothing wrong with that. Phil Collins is 56 tonight, by the way, just so you know. I've still got it. John but, uh, Tesh doesn't take himself too seriously, you, you but he is serious you, about what he does. It's what he calls a purpose-driven life. And it's something he found in 1996 at a Promise Keepers event. And there was 80,000 men in the Los Angeles Coliseum, and this guy named Dr. Tony Evans came up and started screaming at us because we were wussy men and just saying that, you know, you, all you godly men with all these great blessings in your lives, you know, you're, you're, you've become CIA, you've gone CIA for God. You're in, the, you're in the closet, you're closet Christians. Everybody else in Los Angeles has come out of the closet for one reason or another, and you're in there with the doors shut and the light off. How dare you? And he was screaming at us. And I, I realized that that's what I was doing. Is I, w I was raised as, um, as a good Christian kid, and I had all these values, and, and then my life just went south. And I just did whatever I wanted to do, no matter who I stepped on. It's hard to imagine someone as nice as John Tesh being ruthless. But with the help of his actress wife, Connie Selica, his faith became real to him, and he just couldn't go on reading celebrity birthdays anymore. And that's when a new and surprising chapter began. My wife and I made the decision together where we would take a second mortgage on our house and create this giant special just to sort of say, hey, listen, I'm a musician. This is where my heart is at. The risk paid off and Live at Red Rocks was a hit PBS special. But that wouldn't be the biggest risk Tesh would take. It came out of looking at, looking at my wife and her side of the bed in our house was just all these magazines of everything from Oprah to Prevention to Ladies Home Journal with little sticky notes all over them, articles that she wanted to read, but the pile was like this and she ne would never get around to it. So I said, let's create a show for that person because we're not, there's great information, let's connect people to it, I'll be the quarterback, we'll surround it with music and that's where the contest, concept of uh, Intelligence for Your Life came from. Again, Tesh invested his own money into his dream. A decision many thought was anything but intelligent. When we approached the radio show, for example, and said, you know what, let's, let's do this, this is how expensive it is, and it looked horrible on paper, we we're going to lose millions of dollars, and my friend Scotty Myers and I were together said, let's, let's do this, it has purpose. And sure enough, now it's like the fastest growing syndicated radio show in the world, because people can feel that our whole reason for being on the air, we're not thinking about money, we're thinking about how do we enrich people's lives and connect them to the information they need. Although his highly successful radio show is heard on over 240 stations across North America, John Tesh has always been a performer at heart, and he likes to take his brand of intelligence on the road whenever he can. And his song list is everything from instrumentals to rousing worship songs. Much like the man, his music is hard to put into any one category. If we can't get people on their feet, and sometimes we do it with a dancer, sometimes we do it with a goofy story about me having baloney caught on my braces as a teenager, sometimes we do it by, by doing the Intelligence for Your Life game show. But um, uh, we, once we get out on stage, we really don't know what's going on. We have songs, if you like some songs, we have songs, but we also have words of en encouragement and hopefully uh, 
you know, that we will, we will encourage at least one person. And his intelligence for life has earned him quite a following, jokingly referred to as Teshis. So what is it that you like about John Tesh? I like everything. Well, he's got very good uh, ideas on different things. That, that's why I wanted to come. I like his personality. I like the way he speaks to people. And uh, he really comes from the heart. Yeah, I liked him when he was on entertainment tonight. I love him. <laughs> we listen to him every Sunday morning on the way to church. And, and, and during the week. I mean, we just love his program. And I like his wife, Connie Selica. When you hear you're going to John Tesh, they say, why? <laughs> I say, because we like him. And I think he's a terrific pianist, and I love music. But then again, they make the little square sign, and yeah, my friends are, are too cool, too cool for Tesh. So, but we're not. Okay. We're, we're geeks, so that's okay. Well, John Tesh may be popular, he's not exactly cool. And he's had to take a lot of flack in the press for his music and good guy image. If you're, if you're gonna be in the entertainment business, you can't have, a, you can't have thin skin. So especially somebody like me, I left you know, a show where I was a talking head and, and, and decided I really wanted to go where my love was, which was music. So people, especially in America, are gonna rip you to shreds. Hello, Hamilton! But Tesh doesn't live by his reviews, and his heroes are far from the celebrities he used to interview. I, I, have, I have quite a few role models. Um, I would say Rick Warren, who, who wrote The Purpose Driven Life, he's a, he's a big role model for me. Um, uh, Paul in the, in the Bible, um, the greatest evangelist of all time, is a great role model for me. I, I, I love the fact that he, that he risked his life and, and uh, uh, and devoted his life to spreading, uh, spreading the gospel on, on, on foot. He considers himself an evangelist, both on air and off. By living a passionate life, he's inspiring others to do the same. I do think of our company as being an evangelistic company, which, which I, I define as, as trying, to, uh, uh, trying to move people to look inside themselves and effect change. <laughs> But he's quick to add a passionate life doesn't mean being happy all the time. Trust me, there are days when I go in there and I really don't want to do my job. I don't really want to hear the three, I don't want to know the three ways to, to divorce-proof my marriage. I'm having a fight with my wife. My daughter, I just, my 13-year-old daughter, I just drove her to school. She's having a problem with her friend. I tried some of the intelligence for, her, for your life on her. She said, don't try that radio show stuff on me. Uh, as of last weekend, I have a 13-year-old uh, a girl in my house, a teenager. Yes, yes, pray for me. Yes. It may not work on his daughter, stage, but the radio uh, show is helping have, people. Uh, We've had 14-year-old who called us up and said that they used the marriage tips to help get their parents back together. I mean, it's like, I know. So it's, it's, it is a one, I take credit for one thing. It's a great idea, but it's not, I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not, you know, Oprah or any of these, these people. It's not my opinion, but I know how, to, I'm going to find, I'm a reporter. I'm going to find you this, the, the top five PhDs in the world of sleep or in relationships or in how to save money or how to lose five pounds or how to be, connect to your spirituality. <laughs> Over a decade after quitting his seven-figure job at ET, John Tesh is more successful than ever. And it all comes out of living a passionate life. I think you're, you're really seeing, uh, I think there's a revival now in, uh, in North America, maybe in the world, where, where we want to live outside ourselves. We're just not sure how to do it. So what we're saying is come along, listen to us, come to a concert, whatever, be inspired, and then we'll connect you to, the, to an area where you can serve. In Hamilton, Denise Lottie, 100 Huntley Street.